Hi there, thanks for tuning into my channel. My name is Amaka Sheridan and welcome to Excel Island. In this video, I am going to show you how to renew your Microsoft 365 developer subscription program for free. Yes, you heard me right. I did the same thing by following the instruction on the Microsoft website and I got an email that my subscription has been renewed for free. So let me show you the email. So here is the email from Microsoft saying congratulations your Microsoft 365 trial developer subscription has been renewed. Your new expiration date is March 11, 2022. Note your Microsoft 365 developer subscription is for development purpose only. For more information, see the Microsoft 365 developer program frequently asked question. You can also visit your Microsoft 365 developer program dashboard to check your status and to find tools that add value to your subscription. Thank you. So I got this email after following the discussion on the Microsoft website. So and I'm going to walk you through the Microsoft 365 developer program FAQ in a minute and show you how I got my subscription renewed for free. Stay tuned. Hi, so welcome back from the short break. So here I am on Microsoft 365 Developer Program FAQ. So I'm doing them. I'm doing this because I got a lot of questions in my last video about the subscription and how to renew it for free. So if you haven't watched the video, you can find the link up here. Do check it out. So let's get started. So the first question we'll be looking at is what is the Microsoft 365 Developer Program and who should join us? So the Microsoft 365 Developer Program is designed to help you build people-centric cross-platform productivity experience that extend Microsoft 365. So join our program to get access to the tools, documentation, training, expert and community events that you need to build great solutions for Microsoft 365 products and technologies. So including all these apps listed here. So I'll be going through all the questions. I'll be selecting some important questions and completing the answers. So in the link in the description of this video, I'll drop the link to this website. You can check it out yourself. Next question we should look at is what is included in the developer subscription. So it says that if you created your subscription after August, which we are in 2019, which is after August 25, 2019, and gladly we are after August already, you have a Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription with 25 user license. So that subscription contains all these apps, including advanced analytics with Power BI and all the apps listed here, or all the resources features listed here. So to the big question that I've received a lot of query about is how long is my subscription good for and when does it expire? Please note that the subscription is good for 90 days and is renewable based on valid developer activity. So how do you define a developer activity and we are going to get into that. So if you are using your subscription for development, it will be renewed every 3 months and will last indefinitely. Take note of that indefinitely. You can find the expiration date along with a subscription name or your Microsoft 365 Developer Program dashboard. For more information, see subscription expiration and renewal. So you can read from that also, but we are going to talk about all that also later. So how does Microsoft determine whether a subscription can be renewed? It says we use a set of algorithms and telemetry that we get from your activity in the Microsoft 365 developer program 
and on your office 365 e3 or 365 e5 developer subscription to determine whether you are actively developing so we check this regularly to update your status and determine whether your subscription should be renewed or extended in another case so if you are not actively developing your subscription is likely not to be renewed but wait enough with yet so how does microsoft de define development activity so it says there that your activity in the developer program and on your developer subscription determine whether you are actively developing and whether your subscription should be extended so for more information on that you can check the terms of use so the main important thing to note is that if you are not actively developing if you are not doing any development activity your subscription is likely not to be renewed and to develop or to practice any development activity is absolutely free you are the one that is going to determine how to do that and i'm going to show you so here i am on my microsoft 365 developer program dashboard you can see my subscription expired on march 11 2022 i have one three days left out of 120. now to the big question let's say you are not interested in any development activity or you are not even a developer we use the app asset to the office 365 apps so when you click here on your dashboard that says go to subscription it should bring you here when you click that so it should bring you here to the microsoft office 365 website where you have access to all the office 365 apps for free so if you are not developing or you are not doing any development activity in the program we use your app access to the office 365 app well sincerely speaking that is a question i personally do have an answer to because i am not a microsoft spokesperson but what i know is that you can actually get the subscription to be renewed for free and i'm going to show you how to do that so let's quickly go back to the faq and see how to do that so i'm back on the faq so when you notice in the faq there's a question that says why should i link my github account to microsoft 365 developer program it says when you join the microsoft 365 developer program on my settings page you can link your github account to your developer program account so it now says listen carefully it says linking your github account will accrue toward the renewal of your microsoft 365 developer sandbox subscription so you can choose to link or link your account by going to the account link section on of your my settings page so immediately you link your github account to your microsoft 365 developer account it automatically gives you a subscription extension you add me right it automatically gives you a subscription extension and right now i have my github account open so let's go back to my microsoft 365 developer dashboard so when you want to link your github account you come to settings over here so if you don't have a github account you can simply go to github.com github.com on your, on your browser and create an account so back on the microsoft 365 developer program dashboard you go to settings and i click settings so you can see account preference complete the following field to help for personal experience so what industry what is the primary focus as a developer so you can choose any focus you want any app any what area of interest select at least one product technology or code language and platform so you can choose any platform or code language for development activity so you can choose anyone but let's link our github account to the microsoft 365 developer subscription account, account link so i've linked mine before i have to unlink it so i'll agree and link as i click on agree and link so i have to give authorization yes so i have to give authorization so it is linking my accounts so let's wait for it 
you see so link to analyze shame so that my github account i can also remove link here so i'll just click on it and it's removing so once you have your account link so any development activity you are doing on your github, GitHub account automatically qualifies you to have your subscription extended look at it now so try as much as possible to do some coding maybe in python or any coding language of your choice on your github account and i can show you your subscription will be extended so now i have linked my git my github account to the microsoft 365 developer account hopefully my account also gets extended again but that is actually what i did to get my account extended till 2022 so i got my subscription extended to 2022 so that is a trick but that is a solution i wanted to show you so if you found this video helpful do consider giving it a thumbs up click on the share button to share the information and if you've not subscribed hit the subscribe button 